Hey everyone, I'm Red. Um, I wanted to show you all a review on a Ruger Mark IV model 40107. I do a lot of uh, research on Google and forums and YouTube. And when I went to go buy with this gun, I couldn't find any information on it to save my life. And to this day, there's still no videos on YouTube about this particular model. I did see one model, but it wasn't very uh, in-depth. So I just wanted to run over it and uh, go over the specifications, its accuracy, and what I've done to it. First and foremost, the gun's not loaded. The magazines are unloaded. It comes with two 10-round magazines. Chamber's empty. Magwell's empty. Nothing's gonna happen. Uh, full disclosure, I've never made a video before. This is the first one. Please bear with me. Uh, like I said, the magazines have a 10 round capacity. The receiver is made of an alloy steel. The front sight is fixed. However, I put a high vis fiber optic front sight on the front of it. And over here, which is not in the camera, if you buy the high vis sights, which I, I highly recommend unless you're going to be um, splitting cards or making really competitive shots, this is really good for shooting steel. It comes with a green fiber optic a solid white fiber optic which i guess really wouldn't be a fiber optic and a red fiber optic the red works quite well however i prefer the green the, uh, the front sight is not movable however the rear sight is you have your windage and elevation screws right on top and right on the right side of the firearm. It has ambidextrous safeties. Which brings me to my next point. When you buy this, it'll come in the standard uh, Ruger cardboard box. And in it, you will also receive this little washer. And what you can do with this is on either side of the firearm, say you're right-handed, which I am. You can take off the grip and you can take out the right hand, I'm sorry, the right hand ambidextrous safety. That way you only have your left or vice versa, your right, depending on uh, which hand you shoot. I like to shoot both handed, bo both handed. I like to shoot with both hands, so I leave them on there. Um, <clears throat> Sorry. This is the original front sight that came on it. Standard disc. Not disc. Uh, blade. My apologies. Blade sight. Works great if you're splitting cards. However, I've gotten used to using this one for cards. I have to say I'm not as accurate as I am with this. But it does work. Um, the only problem that I actually have with this gun. I want to go over that real quick is the front post screw that came from the factory, I don't know if you can see it, came stripped. So it was extremely difficult for me to get the front post off so I could put the aftermarket sight on there. Now, this is a five and a half inch bull barrel and a polymer frame. It has checkered synthetic grips and is one I think 1.22 inches wide fairly certain it does come with quite aggressive texturing on the back end which was okay but it seemed to wear down really quickly um, I'm filming on a phone and like I said this is the first video I've ever made don't expect this to be like you know the movie theater 
Nothing like that. But <clears throat> it's definitely a solid gun. It shoots very well. Like I said, the model number is 40107. I was skeptical to buy it because of the price tag. And all the other models out, they have the Mark IV Lite, they have the Mark IV Hunter, which I really believe that the Mark IV Hunter is a gorgeous gun. It's stainless steel, fluted barrel. But this has a price tag of $311 on Bud's Gun Shop. So while I was trying to do my research, I couldn't find anything on it. So that's why I'm making this video. Hopefully this will help somebody out. Minus all the mistakes I make along the way. But the information should be fairly solid. Um, the 22 long rifle. It's a 2245 style. Which I prefer. Uh, the weight is extremely proportional. I don't know how well I can show it. But I can hold in the center of the gun. And it just balances right out. It's a dream to shoot. You can shoot it quite a lot before the barrel gets hot. Um, you can put an aftermarket trigger in it. I believe Volkortsen makes one. Um, for a $311 gun, I can't see myself spending another $150 on an aftermarket trigger. I'd rather just go buy another gun. Um, comes with these two metal 10 round magazines. It does have a thumb follower. Uh, for assistance, which I find quite helpful. I normally will, when I'm shooting, I'll be shooting near a bench or a table, and I'll take the follower and just run it up the side of the table and drop the bullets in as I go. Makes it quite easy. Uh, for me, my wife, children, whomever it concerns. Um, this firearm is not California or Massachusetts certified or approved um, the disassembly is just like any other mark four you'll if, it, if the bolt is open you can hit the slide release or pull the bolt backwards push the slide release down push it forward you'll put your safety up which is on you can put your hand over top of the barrel push the button in the rear and it comes right apart Inside is your lower. Uh, it really is fairly easy to clean in comparison to the Mark II's, 1's, 3's. Probably could have gone in order with that, but oh well. You slide your bolt right out. This is dirty. I was shooting it today, which prompted me to make this video. But all you do is there's a little roll pin in here. You pop that out. You can pull your... Uh, spring out underneath of that inside is the firing pin and the spring you can just knock them right out and get it all clean if you all actually enjoyed this video and wanted to see a disassembly video and a reassembly video my apologies uh, I'd be more than happy to do that and putting it back together fairly simple drop the bolt in Grab the lower, line them up down here. There's a little groove where that will go into. Slide it in, take your thumb, pull down, and it's good to go. Always make sure it'll work, and it will work. Um, I think I've hit the majority of the notes. It's... Not the time of day that I could take it out and show you all the accuracy results. But I have shot a Mark 400. I've shot a Mark 4 Standard. And then I have shot this one. And to be honest, the only one that grouped any better was the Mark 400. Maybe it's because of the longer barrel. I think there is. I think they do have a model that has a longer barrel. I might be mistaken. I'm not sure. But that did prove to be more accurate. I don't know if I can get this to focus, but the sight picture is great with the five and a half inch barrel. I don't think that's going to focus, but it looks really good when you're shooting. You can easily shoot dime size groups at 20 yards. Not exaggerating. I could put a video up if you all want to. 
I promise you, it will definitely shoot that well. Uh, if you're a competition kind of kind of guy, you probably got a lot more money to spend, and you'll go for something different. But for the average guy, if you only have three hundred to three hundred fifty dollars, you can pick yourself up one of these, pay twenty bucks for a brick, and go have fun with your family. It's built well, functions well, cleans well, shoots well, and highly accurate. I highly recommend it. Um, you can buy aftermarket grips for it. Like I said, you can buy aftermarket triggers. The only other thing that I don't like about this firearm is it has a magazine disconnect, which means that there's a round in the chamber. Like right now, it's empty. Okay. See that? Nothing in there. Nothing in that magazine. Slide the bolt forward. Click. It's shot. So, cock it back. Slide it forward, take the magazine out, and it just won't shoot. If you were to buy that Volkortz and trigger upgrade, then that would take away the magazine disconnect and you'll be able to shoot it. Uh, whether the magazine's in the firearm or not. Which would probably be the selling point to me for buying it. Because oftentimes I do like being able to just to throw one in the chamber and shoot. Um, but all in all, if I missed any points that you would like to know because you're considering purchasing this firearm, please be sure to ask me and I will get back to you promptly. Um, it really is a great gun at a great price. And just because it's cheaper than all the other Mark IVs, don't let that discourage you from buying it. This is a solid firearm. I hope you somewhat enjoyed the video. If you all happen to like these videos, I have a few other guns that don't have that many close-up reviews on. And if you all might want to see them, or if you want to see just more videos, if I know that I can have a fair bit of viewers, I'd definitely go out and buy the equipment to be able to shoot the videos quite well. However, at the moment, like I said, this is the first video I'm filming on a phone in the middle of a room with my computer desk. So, I want to thank you for watching. Please be sure to drop a like, a comment. If somehow you want to subscribe after this one video, be my guest. I would love to hear your reactions and your responses to this video. And if I happen to make one, I'll see you guys in the next episode.